10.01 in the morning, and uh, we're waiting for the kid that drives his truck. We're waiting for Levi. Um, so it's be at 8 o'clock. Currently 10 o'clock. We're going to look at a semi. This isn't uh, anything new from Levi, because he's always late. Look at there, 10.05. The punishment of being late today is he gets to drive. This? Oh yeah, that's your punishment, you're late. Oh my gosh, Levi. Yes. Levi, you want to tell us why you're late this morning? Um, see, I did this magical little thing where uh, I woke up and I called Presley, said, hey, what time do you want to leave? He goes, oh, here in a little bit. I was like, uh, 7.50 probably. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. And then that's the last thing I remember before 9.30, so. <laughs> That's why. Fire diesel on this thing? It's actually an all fuel pickup. Don't tell anybody though, it's a prototype. Get open here. Don't, don't fit. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Wait, are friends to get you any food? No. We got an egg roll. <laughs> Ooh, it's rolling with us. Look at the double hump stainless members. Good. We're on the way. To Muscatine to look at a 96. 96. Come on, Preston, tell us 96 about it. 96 T600. Tell us about it. Uh, the family's owned it since it was a year old, two years old. Two years old. And we hired another driver, and it'd be the perfect truck for that. What motor are we running, Levi? Uh, N14 Red Top Cummins. Wow, so enthusiastic. N14 red top, man. <laughs> Dude, it's got that red top. A little bit of engine work, not a complete overhaul. Rods and mains. Rods and mains. Everything's new besides the crank, the cam, and the piston. So we always do a guess on what the person always looks like. Presley's the only one that's talked to him. What 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 of our looks? What's he, what's this guy look like? Like a skinny middle aged man. I'd say like Nate. Nate neighbor? Yeah, Nate neighbor Nate. I'm going mid forties, slim guy. Neighbor Nate. Neighbor Nate. Yeah. Uh, we got the goods here. We got uh, chicken on macaroni, not macaroni, mashed potato, bread bowl, chocolate milk, and we got two egg rolls. Quick stars the hit. Casey's sucks. Casey, step up your game. Casey's. I don't. I don't know if you guys watch this, but. You guys really need to figure out your stuff. The thing they got going for them is their bone-in wings. That's it. That's one thing. Yeah. One thing. Nah. Their pizza's I think, good. I think Quickstar's boneless wings are better than uh, Casey's boneless. No way. Casey's has kind of been slipping on their wings, you know, recently, I think. Yeah. You can't beat this. When you go hunting in the morning, stop Quickstar, get yourself some chicken and gravy on that fiddle. this thing over um not really sure yet that needs back brakes for sure they're getting pretty wore down there they're not like shot but they're down there front ones are okay they're like 50 percent exhaust is held up by a ratchet strap right here that's cool clean truck all around i mean like body is clean um uh, paint looks good New hood on it last year. Steer tires are good. It's gonna need drive tires. Got a bad knock up here, but let's see. Is that the hood? Let's pop the hood. I'm gonna pop the hood once and see what's got for blow by. Interior is pretty nice, it's not bad. Interior's pretty clean. All around this truck's really clean, it's just some small things like this door rattles really bad. You guys can see that. So that needs rebuilt. Yeah, go ahead.
sound right. Just shut it off here, just kind of check some things over. Um, belts are really loose. Levi said the belts are shot on the other side. I mean, they're dry rotted to no other. And that's gotta be. Did you think that was a fan club? Looking at the belts over here. You yeah, zoom in on them. See how shot they are. These are all weather rotted. You look at the front brakes here. You got a really bad lip on the brake drums. Brake pads are like probably 50%. It's got a fair amount of oil under here. Pretty oily underneath the motor itself. Sorry, I can't zoom in on that. Um, kind of rust here on these cab mounts. They're not now, they're gone. The fan's loose. Nice. Yeah, we're we not bringing this home. No. All right, so over here, I can see these tires. These are okay. These probably aren't too bad. If we come over here, uh, these are like trailer tires. This one's flat. That's actually off the bead. If you could get it for 25 and stuck 10 into it, it'd probably be a good truck. But it's gonna need drive tires, brakes, New brackets for the exhaust, new, new door, belt, light on the fender. For what you guys need, it's not, no. We're looking for a truck that's ready to go. Although when you look at, I mean, it was 7,500 a wet kit when we put them on this fall, so you gotta add the 7,500 to the wet kit. Right. The wet kits. What scares me a lot is there's a lot of vents, like that. That's bent already. Yeah. This is bent, so that's not straight. Yeah. It's an eight bagger. The dog bone bushings are shot. They're getting there. They're not shot shot. So you shake the tire here, there's pushing down below. So if we can fix that, but right. it's just all nickel and dime stuff. And that's stuff we see now. It's not stuff that we haven't seen either. Another thing that sucks is this visor. So this is head height right here where my eyes are. This is seat all the way down. You can't see anything. You really want to be down here. Interior is really clean. That's for sure. And it rides really rough. It's got the eight bags. No boy, no. This is pretty sweet. I did not know trucks had this until now. This is a, what year is this? 1996. 96. You can start the truck from the bump. You want to talk about laziness. You're just sleeping in the back here. Lean up, start the rig, idle it up. That's cool. That's so cool. We got a cup holder, storage up here. Storage all the way around. Looks like we got a spot for a fridge. We got a little closet. Look at that. Got a little fan. Dash is really clean overall, really, for the year of it. And uh, yeah. See this door. Go ahead and shake that door, Presley. She's a little wore out. Need some love. Presley asked if we're going to Avatar? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Avatar. Duh. Why would we not go to Avatar? I wrote a paper when I was in elementary school <laughs> on Avatar. Chrome and lights, exit 284. What? what? Do we get go cruise to the truck museum? Yeah. Levi, we go to Walcott. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go to I-80. Yes, we'll stop. Please. Yes. But they got Taco Bell. How many times do I have to say yes? Did you bring the checkbook? Dude! Dude, the school bus even stopped at a came get some of that cheap diesel fuel at 666. Oh no. 460. 465, man. No, I bet I 80s way more. It's like only 20 cents more than back home. World's largest truck stop. Come on back. What are you doing? I'm not going through the truck lot. Yeah, no, really do. Then we can see all the other rigs. We can go through the truck lot when we leave. I'm the uh, dad, she, I'm the boss. Dude, all blacked out Tahoe. That it's a suburban. That makes things sweet. actually kind of really cool. I don't Dick the Conestoga on top, but <laughs> the Conestoga. I mean, we're at a truck stop, dude. That's what you call it. Look at this guy's head ornament on this truck. What would you do if if the the world fell on top of you? Probably die. Die? Probably. You yeah. couldn't catch it. Alice does it. He does it every day. Here by one one steering wheel cover right now. Yes. Why? I want to talk about polished. That's sweet. I like that. You look like Indiana Jones, but working. Ma'am. <laughs> Think of how many people have farted on this bed. 
Is that I just did? About to be one more. <laughs> oh, 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 blast. Oh, blast. Dang, I got shorted, dude. I would get arrested in that for sure. Take a ride in the old paddy wagon. <laughs> I bet they don't sell those on the road no more. Look at all those leaf springs. Dang. I said this thing was heavy haul, eh? This is probably one of those house movers. If you thought you couldn't see out of your cab now, <laughs> wait till you get in this thing. W9 Long Hoods out there, you ain't got nothing on this guy. Ford sold the pickups and then John Deere would put their shellers on the back. As you can tell right there, the John Deere right there, it was a mobile sheller. They could shell 20 acres a day. That's crazy. Be curious as to how many acres they could shell today with how many more bushels an acre we produce than what they used to. I bet it's like five acres. Imagine come through town and the old Coke truck runs through and you're like, hey, I want a Coke waved down. I think this is cool. The tires that ran on this thing. It's got its own low boy. Things are built heavy. Chain driven. Who size of that chain? It's huge. We got jumper cables back here. Okay. How much money would it take for me to hook them to the batteries and then to your nipples? Okay, what's your first offer I'll counter? I will do a full detail on your pickup. Uh, that's not enough. We're talking. We gotta I'm be saying talking. interior and exterior. Have you seen this thing? Dog, we're talking dollar signs. Come on. If you ain't talking paper, I don't want to talk. This would take dollar signs to clean. 